Pronto, ia. Right. Hi guys. Hi guys. We're back with another video. Um, yes, we yes we're recording a couple of videos on the th on the same day. In case you haven't noticed, because we're both in the same clothes. Yeah. Yeah. So this video, anyway, this video we're gonna. Well, you 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 know it's more Taylor's story than, than it is my story but you know it's something that i'm doing with her because seen as i'm kind of like part of it you know yeah and we're gonna get into why i'm part of it later but taylor do you want to take from here love sure um <laughs> <laughs> okay um as you probably are aware by previous videos I did say that Nathan's like basically done good stuff and things like that and I just want to go into more depth with it um so yeah um if you guys don't quite know um if you look for my channel, I might, like, mention things, um, basically, like, moving places and basically, um, <coughs> putting, like, um, videos about things like that, so, you know. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Um. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna ask, like, 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 why are you laughing? It's no idea. It's meant to be a serious video. <sighs> Maybe because of nerves, nerves, but <laughs> yeah, true. Okay, f fair enough. Okay, um, I won't go to much data like a will in some extent but yeah okay so basically last year it was obviously the pandemic and it's um lockdowns and stuff i know it's been difficult but for me it's a bit deeper <laughs> because yeah. because i haven't got a place whilst a lot done happened basically so in other words i was homeless yeah basically i was homeless since february last year so like over uh. a year ago. yeah i left for family home it was just me and my mum at the time and my mum was toxic and controlling and doing horrible shit and I've just left. So yeah, I Because you don't deserve that. Nope, nobody does. It's basically <clears throat> class as abuse at this point. So Yeah. So yeah. If you want anything to say, Nathan, just barge in. Alright. I don't even care. <laughs> okay. Because I'll just waffle about things like this, honestly. <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyways. So basically, after I left, I stayed over my dad's place. It was like a studio flat, so just a room. And I slept on this armchair. <laughs> <laughs> which is a bit ridiculous to be honest, which is why I laughed, but um Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is a bit ridiculous. Just, it's just, yeah. yeah, it is a bit ridiculous. Yeah, I slept in my chair for about five months. <laughs> yeah. Until one day I've escaped. The reason why I've done that is because I wasn't going nowhere and 
My dad was also abusive. He done stuff too, um, in any form, by the way. I won't go into much detail, obvious reasons. Um, so yeah, he was a bitch too. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then, as I mentioned, one day I've escaped. I was with a friend of mine, and I stayed with hers. But the thing about staying over at hers is that it's about three hours away from here because she lives in England, and um, my family didn't like that I was going over there. So what they done is that they called the authorities and they report my friend as kidnapping because they thought that I was too vulnerable to go over there basically, which is not really true because they done a welfare check and I was fine, but we basically agreed that I'll go back to Cardiff and stay over my brothers only for a couple of nights what you talked about shit but 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 but, 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 but. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back to my friends because it's safer for me from the toxic but my yeah, brother is um, also toxic <laughs> yeah I was just going to ask you about that like we should put the toxic as well he is not as bad as my parents, but like sometimes he kind of controls people, I guess. Oh god. Yeah, nobody likes that, do they? Like in some extent I un- in some extent I understand where he's coming from. He's about like nine years older older than me. In terms of being protective and stuff, I can kind of understand. But yeah, then again, but the, yeah, but at the same time, you're still a grown adult. You know, even though you've got like problems, like like disabilities and things, you know, you're still a grown adult. Exactly. At the end of the day. And. Basically, my family should respect my decisions and stuff, but yeah. instead, they basically don't be opposite, basically. Yeah. yeah and I've, and I just want to say, like, I've watched um, some of Hayley's videos and she seems really nice. Yeah. You know, like, 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 like what was she like, like, when you were living with her? I only stayed there for, like, 12 hours. No fucking joke. <laughs> you only stayed there for... T- what the f... So, so you didn't actually sleep over her house? You stayed there for 12 hours? No, no, I didn't sleep... I didn't spend a single night over hers. What the fuck? Like, I thought you did. Like, I thought you spent, like, a couple of nights over over there and then the police got involved and nope it was all of that stuff i just said is all in one day basically gee whiz how did you even get over to her house anyway like like, did she come to wales to come and get you or did you get on a bus Yeah. yeah she got a car and yeah oh that was nice of her yeah oh bless Right, so, right, sorry, um, c- c- continue. Okay, so, whilst I was staying, staying over my brothers, I stayed over here for about two months or so. Whilst I was staying over here, I had referrals from um, or- organisations and I was basically referred to temporary accommodation so about two months after that I've 
stay I was in a hot star basically. Yeah, which which you've done a video of the hostel you were in, didn't you? Yeah, I done a video about like a room tour of it. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen seen that, you'll have to go on her channel and find it. I'll link her channel in the in the description. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, the whole stuff's not too bad, but I did felt kind of isolated a lot of the time, though. Yeah. The main reason because of a lockdown, but part of it is because it was basically a building and it's just a bunch of rooms, basically. So, yeah, and plus they've got plus they've got restrictions there as well, haven't they? Yes, it's gated, and there's a reception and stuff like that, and yeah, you know, just stuff like that. So yeah, I've stayed there for another two months. Um, and then I referred to somewhere else, which is, it's kind of similar to, I mean, it's the temp accommodation, but like, it's supported. So like, there's staff 24-7. Different to the first one, so yeah. Uh, and I've actually seen it, haven't I? Because I've been on video call with you, haven't I? And you've shown me around the old place before you moved yeah. into the place where you where you're in now. When we used to, um, like, l like we used to wind their staff up and everything. <laughs> yeah, it was fun, the actual. Like there was one incident, right, where. She got a load of tomato ketchup and she wrote and she wrote fuck you on the kitchen side and she snitched on herself, didn't you? Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, we should have done that for a video. Definitely. Yeah, that would have been funny. And, and maybe we can do that for a video still, you know, sometime. Yeah, could do. Yeah. So yeah, I've stayed there for like six months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's much different. Instead of a building with multiple rooms, it's just a house, basically. <laughs> yeah. And it's only like four other people. And then there's like a staff too, 24-7. Um, it's been ups and downs or whatever, like some people are stupid and unstable mentally wise and they've done stupid stuff, but otherwise yeah. it's all right. Was you about to say something then? No, I wasn't. Oh. I was just agreeing with you. That's why I said yeah, because I was agreeing with you when you said that there were people that were mentally unstable and stuff. Um, let me think what else from the um. Let me think. You got it. Uh, are you gonna tell them about now? Yeah, but I meant. The last place. All right. Okay. So is that it? Okay. Before I continue, basically we had a support worker, which always, you know, he was supports us, I guess. 
not. <laughs> well, obviously. But, but she's not even here. I mean, she's not even supporting us properly. Like, how about time she fucking works from home? Like, what the fuck? I know, and plus, and plus, like, what if you guys need something? I mean, we have good staff, but like, for support, but like, for support, because it's other shit. Yeah. Like, to be fair, she did help me with a few things, but like, that's still, some problems are still unsolved, so. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so basically, fast forward to today. After six months of there, um, I moved to another supported place, I should say. Um, I moved today earlier on. <laughs> yeah, even though she was, even though she was supposed to move on Friday, but she didn't. Yeah. So long story short, last Wednesday. Staff from the other place talked to me about stuff because basically my mum tried to get in contact with me through um through like numbers and stuff like that and it's just ah um and the places she went to um. So basically, the supported living I was in last time, that owns by a organisation, and basically, um, my mum tried to contact the organisation and goes to the offices and shit like that. And the office is like two streets away from the last place. And what happens if I fucking bump into her one day? Yeah. So basically, I was basically everyone agreed that being in a different area would be better for me. For sake yeah, of and that's why um that's why some that's why sometimes like when she would go out, I would be on video call with you, wasn't it, to keep you company and to make sure everything was okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because like. I, because like I was on a video call with her, we were on a Facebook video call together, and um, I basically I I was like we, we were like talking to each other while she went to um while she went to pick up some I think it was some medication or something, wasn't it? I think so. So yeah, and then after that, she was like, "Thank you for it," and I'm like, "No problem," you know. Like, yeah, no offence for. Y- you know, because I, like, I was saying to my mum actually earlier about um, about how close I am with you and I say to you, like, whenever you need anything, all you got to do is ask and, you know. Yeah. You know, because in case you haven't realised, guys, me and Taylor are quite close. Okay, yep. but I'm going on a bit of a tangent here, so I'm, I'm going to let Taylor continue. Okay, so basically, the staff let me know about the situation with mum last Wednesday. Um, and basically, later on that day, they told me that I was moving Friday. Because it was that, like, it was, what's it called? Um, I was basically in danger, basically. Yeah, like l- like there was that kind of fear, wasn't there? Yeah, in case, for this case, scenario happened, basically. Yeah. So yeah, I was supposed to go Friday, which was last week, but um, by the time Friday came, I can't go, because... Um, place here doesn't have the key. 
<laughs> and fat hat. Like I know I shouldn't laugh because it's sort of well. funny, but yeah. Okay, no. <laughs> yeah. So basically, I moved the day instead. Yeah. Yeah, but the sad thing is, though, is she's moved fucking ages away from where I am. True, true. Yeah, she was even saying to me the other day, it's a shame that we couldn't see each other, like, before she moved. Yeah. You know? Definitely. Um, is there anything else you want to say? Uh... I think I don't think the difference between the three places. <laughs> okay. Just a brief. Okay. The first okay, place it was all right, but the staff was yeah, not not the best. Mm. And the support worker at the first place Half a time, she was in fucking quarantine, so fuck ridiculous. And the fucking fire alarms, the weekly fire fire alarms are fucking shit. Why? 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 Why were the fire alarms fucking shit? They get tested every fucking week, like. Oh god. So yeah, that's not the best. <laughs> No, it's not, is it? Definitely not. <laughs> um, the second place, slightly better than the first place, but at a time I can't go out because of reasons. Um, I did have fun in some extent, but like in the other hand, it's just not the best, you know? Yeah. So, considering this is my first day, I feel like I'm more free, to some extent. Mm. Compared to the rest of the first days over in the other two, so... Mm. I know it's early days, but still. Yeah. But still, you know, it's like... It's like, in the place you were before the place you're in now, it's like, you didn't get much independence, did you? Whereas now you've got a bit more independence. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah. And if you are in this kind of situation, please seek help, because it's just awareness, and it's just... Yeah, and no matter how embarrassing it is, just talk to someone yeah. about her. Like, 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 do you feel embarrassed about it, or are you used to it, or did you feel embarrassed at all, or? I can hear a helicopter. Okay, you're kind of getting off subject here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just... I just, I just hear, I just hear a helicopter. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Back then, I was embarrassed, but now, since I've talked to people about it, it's not so bad now. Yeah. Like, why did you feel embarrassed? I mean, I mean, like, I mean, like, were you worried about like how people would take it or? Yeah, part of that, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. I think that's it, actually. That's it, is it? I think so. Um, no, wait, wait, wait. Before I actually oh. end, sorry. Okay. okay. Don't worry, like, I wouldn't, uh, like, just suddenly cut it off. Like, like I would say, like, a proper goodbye to YouTube and everything, and, you know. It's just a helicopter. 
Right, so you stop, stop going on about the fucking helicopter and just focus on the vid. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Talking back generally, I couldn't do this without Nathan. Honestly. See, th- th- this is the reason as to why I'm, as to why I'm in this video, and because. And this is why Taylor's not doing it on her own this while I'm here, because now she's going to say something about me, I'm guessing, are you? Yeah. Go on, continue. So obviously since I, since it happened, it's been difficult, and I was, I was in a bad place. And since we talked daily a couple of months ago, it's been more helpful, and... It wasn't for fights. I don't know where I would be, and basically, I would have done something stupid by now. Yeah. So, in some extent, Nathan did save my life. Oh, and you know, like I have often said to her, and she's probably going to kill me for mentioning this again, but. I have often said to her that if I knew that she was in that dark place, I would have started talking to her daily fucking months ago. If I knew things were that bad for her. Yeah. yeah. You know, because I would have. Yeah. You know. Because I love you and I wouldn't want to see anything bad happen to you, you know? Yeah. Same goes to you, too. Oh, thanks. No problem. Um, is, there, is there anything else you want to say? Camping house. Okay. So, um, if you've got nothing to say and I've got nothing else to say, I think that's, uh, I think that's it. So we'll see you guys um, in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.